So I have a project to kick off Canvas, and I define this for every single project that I've launched. It includes descriptions, project channels, different team members, and at least a starting milestone kickoff date, and I can fill out the rest later. It also includes different resources as well. But I realized that I've been filling out this every single time there's a project, and I was wondering if there was an easier way. Well, I can do that with Canvas variables and templates. So I've marked this as a template, and you'll notice that there's these gray sections here. These are actually Canvas variables. I've defined the variables, which then can be filled out through a workflow. So I have all of them set except for this one for engineering. So I'm going to go into the three dot menu and click on manage automations. From there, I can click on the cell that I need, click on add variable, and it pops up this new menu and I can type in engineering and define a new variable. Alternatively, what I could do is type in engineering, select the text, click on create variable, and I have that same menu. I have multiple different variable types. So this says text, person, channel, date. I know this is, I want to request a user. So I'll select person, click on done. Now that I have this whole template filled out, I can go into the section and click on new workflow. So I have a project kickoff template, and this is going to be the, where, how I'm collecting information to fill it out. In this case, I'm going to do this with a form. So I'm going to say the form name is project kickoff, go to the next step. And I will say that this will be the new form responses to canvas. And this will be the new canvas that gets generated. And I will then go to the next step to define who to share it with. I will define it with a person who used the workflow, or I can specify a channel. In this case, I'll just keep it as person. Once I click this button, it actually creates the workflow and publishes it. I now have this workflow published and I can share this link to somebody specifically, or I can go here under workflows, copy the workflow link and paste it. If I need to put it in a specific channel, I can also run it from here and that's what I'll do today. So what's the description? We're going to launch project Nova. Uh, and I will put the channel name. I can put the kickoff date will be April 1st and specify the project manager and other users as well. Once I click that, I click on submit. And this allows me to take all the different inputs and create a brand new canvas. So I can specify the description, uh, launch project Nova. I can also enter bullet points and bold and have a bunch of formatting if needed. I'm going to type in the project channel and the kickoff date. Because we specified the type, we know which data to actually put into the field. So it knows that it, we need to select users or dates or channel names. So I filled out all this information and click on submit. And I'll take all the different inputs from the form and create the canvas. So I click here and the project kickoff demo has been created with all the different inputs filled in. And you might be wondering, why, why is this useful? Why can't I just fill this out manually? Well, this really helps us standardize and scale our processes. And we've seen lots of teams start to use this and it just saves a lot of manual time because they can collect the information, generate this. They can also tie it in with other steps in a workflow. For instance, sharing this into a specific channel, having conversations about uh, different requests. Well, we've given other examples about executive briefings. So this is just one other example in terms of project management. Hi, I wanted to walk you through the executive meeting request template that we set up in Canvas. As part of this process, we wanted to streamline all the requests with the executives, but make sure that we have the right information when prepping for the meeting. So what we have here are Canvas variables. And the great thing about these is we can set it up so that this information gets filled out by a form submission. So I have 
variables for executives, the goal of meetings, customers, etc. And even in the template itself, I can embed files and resources so that whenever somebody makes a copy of this, they have this readily. So I've already set this up as a workflow and I wanted to show you how this can be used in real life. So here we have the executive meeting request channel. On that channel canvas, I can submit a request and specify the executive details and fill out the rest of the information. So I've populated the information and click on submit. So what's going to happen with the workflow, it'll take the answers that I've submitted in the form and then generate a brand new canvas using the template that I've specified. When I open it up, I can see all the details that have been populated in addition to those resources that make it really handy as well. And the great thing about this is with everything in the canvas is standardized. In addition, I can have conversations about the attendees and leave a comment and say, who else should we invite? And I can tag another user as well. And this allows us to have conversations in the context of where it makes sense for the attendees rather than having a really, really long thread. So this is the executive meeting process now streamlined with Canvas variables.